All right, so today's project is we are building a battery rack, actually four of them, maybe five. Two different sets for two different projects. I've got a set of North Stars, um, one for a buddy, and then I've got another one for someone else who has a bunch of lithium ion batteries. So we're going to build a two inch angle iron, or it's actually bent metal, bent steel, um, structure and then we're going to put three-quarter ply in the bottom of it just so that we redistribute the weight all the way across on the batteries that's the plan and i'm thinking about with my buddies messing with them and painting it a nice bright metallic orange the paint that we're, we will be or we were going to use i should say we were going to use on some of the sasquatch but we've gone with the blue as you can see behind so with that being said, let's get to it. Hello, people. I don't know you. Okay. Um, I don't know why I said that. But okay, I'm going to be cutting pieces of metal, the angle iron, for the battery axe that my dad is making. And he left me to it with a list that I hope I don't screw up. So... Sorry if I do. I hope I don't. I might not. Um, with, with my record, I probably will. Hopefully not. If you can see and read what I did. So, the screw without ones were double because we need to do two of them. So, I just doubled all the numbers, or not the size, but I doubled the number of the ones I needed to do and I'm cutting two at a time of the same length. So, I just rethought to count the two that I cut as one and cut the ones that I'm doing in half. So, think of it this way. So, there are the original numbers that we've got to do. And I can cut those one at a time. And that would get to a certain point. And I'd finish that, then I'd cut the other group at one at a time, or I can cut the groups of one at a time at the same time cutting them two at a time making it so that I'm after so I'm just putting those together and so it's just the same thing as me cutting group one of all the measurements at once and group two with all the measurements at the same time as group one do you understand that good if you don't rewatch it and try to understand because I'm not really explaining it Here's the fact, I'm bored, but I'm also not, because I have work to do, and I'm not making sense, and I know that. Alright, I'm going to show you the general dimensions of this battery rack we're about to build. So, basically we've got a battery that's 22 inches deep on top, 20 and a half inches on the bottom. So we'll build at 22 inches deep. It's fine to have a little bit of play that way. They're heavy enough, they're not going to move around much. Um, we need at least 14 inches tall. We're actually going to go 18 inches, just for clearance and everything. So, we're... Um, five inches wide so we've basically given six inches per battery and then that we can pull them in a little bit and strap down that way no big deal 
we're going to do uh, eight across, two rows times two racks. This is what I'm looking at. I've got four six foot twos for my verticals. I've got my front horizontals. I've got 14, 28 and a half, two 24 inches for the bottom plates. And then the side supports for the batteries, we're gonna go with eight at the moment. We're gonna go one at the top, one at the bottom and two in between. And that's what we're doing. That's the plan. And of course things change as we go. Here's the handles, <laughs> not a map of fact. We'll know that for the rest of them. So, there's the battery we're going to be using. Now I need to see what we're going to do on these. I know most, a lot of people know how to screw things up. It's pretty simple, but some people don't, okay? So I want to be able to get to a corner that I can, I can uh, measure clean off of. So now you want to square it up visually as best you can beforehand. Now once you square it, you're not going to be flipping it back and forth unless you put a weld or something in place to hold it in place. So now I've got these convenient points right here, right on top. So I can go and go, okay, I'm right at five foot. Boy, that was convenient. And I'm within an eighth of an inch. I, wow, I could not have done that better. All you do, Let's, let's mess with it, just, you know, it's gonna screw me up, but I'll do it. Okay, so if I'm off this way, so now, if I measure, I'm going, oh, I'm five foot half inch here, and I'm 59 and a quarter here. So what I wanna do is take that longer side, tap it up, and change, just wanna mess with it, Get it close, check the other side. Okay, so five foot. Five foot. So you're gonna take that longer side, squish it in, so that it takes some of the length out of that and pushes that towards the other one. That's the best way to describe it. As long as you have the same measurement on the same exact points this way, as you do this way, you can square it up. The other rule is the three, four, five rule. Okay, measure three feet, mark it, four feet, mark it. Okay, and then measure from that three foot, three foot to four foot mark. All right, and it should be five foot. That's square as well. So if you're not putting that side on yet, and you want, or you're not doing anything out there, and you want to have a square 90, so three foot, four foot, five foot roll. Okay, that'll get you really close as well. Best thing to do is just get a giant square, square it up and check it. So on top of this, even though I'm close, let's check it. And that is like <laughs> close, almost right on. Close enough to what we're doing easily, so I'm not worried about it. All right, so we finished the first set of battery racks. These are the low ones. Then I kinda, well, screwed up the entire tall racks. Then, uh, well, they didn't turn out how I wanted. So this front one, I angled it out. The back one, I angled it in. But the problem is, by angling the back in without changing the dimensions, of this back shelf here actually spread and opened up the back more then i tried doing the side pieces and it angled okay so we decided to well i decided these are going to be nut and bolt racks now 
So Zach, well, Tegan went ahead and cut a whole nother set after <laughs> what you already saw. And then Zach helped and he went through and welded up because I was too busy with some other stuff. Two new racks. So let's see, this is one of the good ones here. All right. And he did a dang good job. And then this is the other good one here. And well, I don't know if you can tell on video, I screwed these things up royally. All right, let's check this out. Okay. That one's not even level with the front or that one. Yeah, I kind of, I botched that one. I think the left side there's like quarter inch up from the right side. So, and I think it multiplied as it went up. I don't know how I did it, but I decided those things are now just shop shelves. So that's what we got going on those. They turned out awesome. We'll uh, get some photos of them painted uh, on another video. 